And the National Under-20 men's football team known as Amajita recently defended the Kasafa Cup title with a 4-3 win on penalties in the final against Zimbabwe. It was their seventh regional title. They're now focusing on the Africa Cup of Nations. The side's best result at this tournament is a second-place finish in 1997. Is this the generation to finally lift the cup? Well, coach of the team, Thabo Sinong, joins us this morning. A very good morning and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, Zile, and uh, thank you. Congratulations on the latest victory in Zambia. Thank you. Thank you very much. Many people said just expected it, but it's, it's not quite that easy when you go and you actually compete, is yeah, it? Yeah, it's never easy, isn't it? Uh, a lot of our uh, southern countries are really improving. So it wasn't easy, but uh, I think we had a very good team. Yeah. Uh, our boys have had an excellent run throughout the year, and uh, yeah, we've been doing well. So we're just trying to be better than the previous performance, and uh, well done to the lads. Uh, was it the right kind of warm-up that you needed for the Africa Cup of Nations that you guys will be competing in come February, just a month and a half from now in Niger? Absolutely. I mean, it's a tournament environment. Uh, that's what we're preparing for mentally, physically. And um, um, you want your boys to play against the best, uh, to be tested every time. And, uh, you know, thanks to Kosafa for having guest nations such as DRC, uh, Congo, just to make sure that uh, our boys get the, the needed preparation that we need. But uh, we can never say we're satisfied. We're still looking to camp uh, mid-gen. Uh, we're still looking to travel to West Africa and possibly get another two or three friendly matches. Uh, you guys have never lifted this title, but you've competed a number of times. This will be the eighth appearance at uh, the Under-20 Africa Cup of Nations. Is this the team to finally lift the trophy? Well, I'm not sure, Valent, but uh, firstly, we have two, two, two priorities. First is to make sure that we come out of our group, which is a very tough group, Group A, so that we can qualify for the FIFA Under-20 World Cup. Then, secondly, we can look at uh, getting a gold medal. It won't be easy, but it's very possible with the crop of uh, players that we have. And uh, with good preparation, I have no doubt that the boys can do well. I want to speak a little bit about this uh, crop of players because we saw Lyle Foster um, currently of Orlando Pirates. We don't know where he's going to be going in uh, the new year. But uh, he was the shared golden boot winner at the Kasafa Cup tournament and then a promise from Kuma of uh, Mamelodi Sundowns. How important are these two players in your team? Yeah, excellent individuals we have uh, in our setup. And uh, yeah, promise uh, did well and uh, to get an individual award and so is Foster as well and uh, we've had other individuals such as uh, Luke Leroux from Supersport United who really excelled players like uh, Kulegani Kubega, our captain from Mamlori Sundowns and uh, it, it, it goes back to our team culture, our team setup, you know, the collective, it's so strong that it helps certain individuals to shine and uh, well done to the, uh, to the individual awards that we had, well done to the boys and uh, a good job that has been done by clubs at academy level. You know, our academy structures have been doing well in South Africa. And this is the reason we find so much progress in our junior football. Uh, you do need a big performance, though, um, if you guys are to actually lift the gold medal um, at the Africa Cup of Nations. Because when we had our best results in 1997, it was Benny McCarthy that stood head and shoulders above everybody else. Ex absolutely. We, we had a good group uh, in 97 coached by Mr. Mashaba and uh, we we were looking forward you know to to repeat their previous success it's not easy but uh, we believe in the team that we have now at the moment and uh, we just need to continue working hard Valen, and just make sure that uh, our boys are well prepared our boys are confident to play in Niger the weather won't be friendly but uh, again it's the best platform to develop young players you know under pressure out of their comfort zone, just to make sure that we produce better footballers for Wafana uh, Coach, what is happening though? So Kina and I mentioned it a little bit earlier on. Why can't we translate the success that we have at under-17 and under-20 level into the senior national men's team? It, it, it goes down to the collective again. Uh, most of our young players at junior level are actually not getting enough game time at professional clubs uh, in the PSL. And it's important that they get match minutes uh, so that they can be uh, identified by our senior coach. So it's, it, it goes back to the collective. I think our professional clubs need to have faith in these young players. Give them match minutes because our players don't get game time. 
So it's very difficult to graduate into Bafana if you are not getting playing time at your respective clubs. So it goes down to the collective just to make sure that we fast track the talent that we have at the moment. Uh, uh, we saw Kylian Mbappe at the uh, World Cup and I mean, he's just an absolute phenomenon. Do you believe that a couple of the players in your team have what it takes, uh, the mental and uh, physical capabilities to represent the country at the national yeah, Absolutely, no doubt. Nationally. You know, you look at Kylian Mbappe, somebody that was given a chance uh, by his club, uh, PSG and also by his national team, France. So it's always important that we, 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 we have faith in our players. We need brave coaches in our PSL who can always throw 17-year-olds, 19-year-olds uh, every weekend uh, just to make sure that they get their confidence because uh, all the best players in the world, be it the Neymar, Messi, they've get, uh, they got some game time you know, while they were still in their teens. So it's always important that we also believe in our boys. Uh, which we slightly not doing enough in our professional league. I think if we can do that, hopefully we can have a chance to produce more footballers at a young age. All right, so maybe that's the missing bridge, is the bravery of coaches in South Africa. So what we do every morning, we have a trivia question, and this morning's trivia question in anticipation of this interview was related to the Under-20 Africa Cup of Nations. So we asked which group is South Africa competing, and you mentioned that it was a tough group, but we didn't quite tell who the teams were in this group. This is the question that we asked this morning. Um, these are a couple of the answers, and Coach, you can come in here. We ask you to send your... Uh, Answers at Morning Live ACBC on Twitter. Ghana, is Ghana in your group, coach? No, they're in group B. Okay, so Luanda, no, no Ghana. Uh, Kito says Nigeria. Yes, Nigeria is our second match in group A. Second match in group A. And they three times champions of the under-20 AFCON. Uh, Burundi, Niger, the host, and Nigeria says Nkosazana Mdube. This is Nkosana, perfect, actually. yeah. And that is the one. Yeah, this is an excellent answer. Niger, they are making their debut at the tournament. Burundi, it's only their second appearance. They have, however, finished runners-up, but that was way back in 1995. So they're also almost like uh, newbies at uh, the competition. And Nigeria, are you confident against Nigeria? Uh, so if you want to be the best, you have to face the best. And uh, we, we, we have to be well prepared against any opposition. And um, one game at a time, first assignment is Niger, the host, and then after that we'll follow up with the rest of the teams just to make sure that we come out of our group in order to qualify for the World Cup. And that's all that's going to take because uh, the top four teams at the Under-20 Africa Cup of Nations will qualify for the World Cup, the Age Group World Cup, which will be hosted in Poland later next year. Coach, thank you very much for coming in to chat us and best of luck to you and the boys for the preparations. Thank you very much again and uh, you know, a happy new year to all our viewers back at home. Thank you. Lovely stuff. Thank you so much. We'll have more talk for you here on Morning Live after 8 o'clock. Come out for your headline news.